Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cockpit of November A344 Tango. I've already completed my pre-flight. I'm uh, sitting here uh, basically at the checklist item that says, uh, let's checklist item that says propeller area clear. Ignition switch going to both. Uh, start, let's see, we've got a battery on alternator. I, there we go, bat plus all, mission switches on both, and let's see, what have we got here, it's important, starter button, <laughs> really, I guess so, we gotta, we gotta start the engine, I guess, if we wanna fly, right, <laughs> let's see here, <sighs> gotta get warmed up, gotta feel it, man, Testing one two. All right. I got that weird ringing audio thing going on. It's what what the heck that's all about. But uh, it's like history or something oscillating somewhere. Let's see. Waiting for a little oil pressure to come up. You start the engine. Co Go three hundred cold. I just it's running kind of rough. I can tell it's. I'm not getting any heat on cylinder two, but I'm not going to sit here and, and rev the engine or do anything stupid like that. Uh, well, uh, we actually get a little measurable oil pressure, and whether or not this instrument is actually working is debatable. I mean, eventually it does. <clears throat> All right, so... Um, See, we are timing here. All right, folks, welcome to my new cockpit. Um, start the engine here. Uh, we are, ooh, helpful. There we go. <laughs> kind of forgot to click. I'm, I'm still getting used to this new stuff. It's I mean, bat plus alt, and I didn't have it all the way up to alternator on. So now we are charging. 14.2 indicating here. 14.1 on the AV30 over here. Um... All right, so the new stuff is we have the Garmin GMA 347 audio panel. And still learning that, and it, you, they tell it's still kind of squelchy and poppy here, and I'm, I haven't quite figured out what the uh, what the dealio is at. that. Um, we ha still have the ICOM A210, which is my COM2 radio. Uh, we have the uh, Garmin GTX 330ES, which is the extended squitter, uh, transponder does ads be out. Um, stupid thing over here. The the highlight, the centerpiece of the new dash, is this Garmin GNS 430W. That is it. This is Com Nav GPS. Uh, special note. Uh, special note is down here. I don't know if you can see this. We'll get wrapped over here. Oh wow! Look, I finally am hitting on all cylinders. Number two decided to finally light off. Uh, this is uh, the Garmin GI275. Uh, they're uh, guys like uh, uh, Chris Palmer, uh, Angle of Attack. Great channel, uh, great channel out of Homer of Alaska. He has two of these in uh, Cessna. Uh, it's uh, HSI CDI. I've got to mess with that too in a minute, kind of rearrange it. And the current squawk is... Uh, I have, my CDI does not work. I believe it is settings between this and the GPS. Because the GPS, when you do V-lock, whatever, it commands this to go into CDI, but it's not happening because they're not talking over the A-Rank 429 bus. And I believe it's just some, uh, some settings. So let's see, my oil here, 73, 72 degree oil. Uh, we're not really good to do anything uh, until we get oil temperature up to uh, up to 80 per the checklist here. Onyx, ooh, <laughs> wow, my checklist, my checklist, my checklist. Now slow it down, richen up the mix here. The one item on the checklist, 
Which I did not, uh, did not. I'm about to reach over and turn on the uh, sentry. Armin sentry sitting in the back seat. All right. Oh, wow, the oil's up to 80 already. That's cool. You might as well, I'm doing it. My feet on the brakes. Well, the engine's just barely right above idle, and we're sitting on wet grass. This airplane is not moving anywhere. We're in the current configuration. It looks like two stopped firing again. My RPM's back up to 1,200. Lean back out here just a little bit. No problem letting it run for a little while. It's cold, but I tell you what, uh, my friend Mike Roberts just took off in uh, the Bonanza, the banana, he calls it the bone, and uh, he had a hell of a time getting that thing to start. Ah, sweet. This guy goes over here. I've got, ooh, wait a minute. I've got this wire that plugs in the bottom down here somewhere. Boom. All right, that should be good. That should be good. It's plugged in down there. Let's see. Lima is about three miles to the southwest. We'll be entering 45 left down, wind 35 full stop area country. Let's see, EFG. Hey. Actually, you know what? I should have. channels of other radios. Thanks one. There we go. Flip that over there. If our flight following contact graph, Charm one two one point six. All IFR prop departures, advise tower, you are IFR. Advise on initial contact. You have information Romeo. Alright, we got Romeo almost. Addison Airport information Romeo time one six four seven Zulu weather observation. Wind zero two zero one zero gust one seven. Visibility one zero Sky clear below 12,000. Temperature 7, dew point minus 5. Altimeter 3035. Visual approach in use. Landing point 3035. Altimeter. All IFR arrivals to Addison. Contact regional approach on 124.3. Right, that's good. For IFR clearance or VFR flight following, contact ground control 121.6. All IFR prop departures. Advise tower, you are IFR. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Romeo. Addison Airport information, Romeo, time 1647 Zulu. Set both my instruments over here. 1010, gust 17, visibility 10, sky clear below 12,000, temperature 7, All right, that looks five. good, that's my DG. Number two here just. Continues. Landing party runway 34. All VFR arrivals to Addison, contact regional approach right, on 124. So I have my weather. For IFR clearance or VFR flight following, contact ground control 121.6. All IFR prop departures, advise tower, you are IFR. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Romeo. All right, so we got the weather. I'm going to flip the COM2 over there, get that set up. 1229 is the the uh, advisory frequency uh, for air park. Air country traffic, where A142. I hear these guys talking. Uh, I've already got my uh, plan into KAFW. Oops. A, A, F, that dialed in, K, A, F, W, enter, enter, all right, so I've got, boom, you see here, my magenta line just pointed, it's got, got my, my track, uh, 262 degrees, this says 261, whatever, so, all right, we're good there, all right, let's call Addison, see if they can hear us. Addison Tower, November 8344 Tango at Airpark. 8344 Tango, Addison Tower. Addison Tower, I have uh, information. Romeo, I'm at Airpark, about to depart runway 34. Uh, I am going to head to KAFW Alliance. November 44 Tango, Alliance. 
Tango, Roger. Departure Bridge, Joan Russ. Just uh, remain northbound and east of the center line. Suggested heading of about uh, 340. And once you get airborne, you can switch over to uh, regional approach 124.3. I've got no traffic for you right now. All right, uh, heading 340 in the in the uh, directional bug, and uh, I'll switch over to uh, approach when uh, was it uh, one one two four point three. And I do have traffic just off of the departure end of um, uh, Addison right now. They're on a runway heading to 2000. Just remain east of the center line. Four four tango. Okie doke. I'll remain east of the center line. Eight three four four tango. Thank you. So we're six Delta Poppers. So I'm going to put one, two, three, point four in the second button over here so I can flop over here. I'm going to flop over and prop two back online. Same heading as you. Airport can sight with them. I can turn COM one off so I'm not hearing that talking during this guy. Airport traffic, this is November 8, 2, 4, 4, Tango, Red, White, and Blues. And my radio goes in to protect. i got to fix that problem. About to depart, runway 3 4 to the north, airport. All right, so something's going on with that radio. Uh, going back over here, PTT on COM 1. Here we go, full power. All instruments are in the green. Airspeed is coming alive. Laps in here. And 60 knots, let's just rotate. Six, Julie, Romeo, I got you. All right, here we go. We'll climb out at 80 knots. There should be departing to the north here in just a moment. Good morning, November 9 or 9 or 9 or Hotel Echo is ready for VFR departure to East Runway 34. 9 or 9 or Hotel Echo, Addison Tower, Roger. It was it was mostly rich to begin with, but. And six, Julie, Romeo's got traffic off airport. Roger, thanks. November 4, Echo Juliet, if you can, make the right there at uh, Golf, taxi to Victor via Alpha, just monitor ground point six. Off on Golf, Victor via Alpha, monitor ground on point six. Four, four, Echo Juliet. November 9, Hotel Echo, runway 34, clear for takeoff, traffic on two mile right base, Cessna. All right, clear for takeoff, runway 34, November 9, or Hotel Echo. November 2, Mike Alpha, traffic departing prior to arrival is a uh, Cessna, take the room for departure now. Roger, 2, Mike Alpha. Thrust 424, begin the descent, number 2, runway 34, clear to land, you're following the Cessna on about a one mile right base. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and dial in the motor, or the engine, right base, uh, pull, some, pull the big blue scary knob, and pull throttle to get my manifold pressure down to about 23. Alright, tower Cherokee 7721, November 9th, I'm going to go over to 124.3, I am out of Addison's Delta. Approach, this is November 8344 Tango at 2000, uh, just north of Air Park, Fox 69. 8344 Tango, regional approach, uh, Roger. And you got a request? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I am headed over to Alliance, uh, Alpha Fox W, uh, whichever way you, is easiest for you to route me. 444 Tango and Sear Tape Aircraft. Cessna 175. Four Tango Squawk, four six four six. Four six four six in the box, four four Tango. Alliance Tower, November eight three four four Tango. November eight three four four Tango, Alliance Tower. Enter left downwind, runway three four right. Left downwind for runway three four right. November eight three four four Tango. Over at 44 Tango, correction, enter right down when runway 34 right. Uh, I was thinking about that really, really hard. A right down for 34 right sounds appropriate. 8344 Tango. All right, thanks. I wonder if I can make the second transition. I can make the second transition. DPC Lemon Squeezy. Uh, over at Heritage, uh, uh, back to the south uh, east corner. Over at Hillwood. Uh, Hillwood, I'm sorry, yes. 
four four tango without delay. Turn right, Texas Delta, Texas South on Alpha to Hillwood. All right, no delay. Getting off the runway and going south on Alpha. All right, <laughs> we're parked. We made it and uh, developed some more squawks. More squawks for four four tango. Can you believe it? All right, so the post landing checklist. Again, everything is nice and simplified. Everything's in order. Strobe lights, nav lights, kill all the lights and stuff. Um, prop all the way in. Turn off iPads. Turn off the Sentry. And, uh, oh, Squawk, Squawk VFR. Oh, I'm getting a phone call Oh, from Matt. I'll deal with him in just a sec. Anyway, uh, we're done here. Let me shut down. Actually, before I shut down, let me see. No, 321 Whiskey Foxtrot traffic, 1 o'clock, 4 miles southwestbound, typing on out of the case 3100. We're looking for that traffic, 1 Whiskey Foxtrot. Alright, we're good. Alright, that shut off. Avionics going off. And Avionics and Master. Thanks for flying along through this bumbling flight, figuring out everything and getting my flow and my figuring out the buttons and how to work everything. We'll see you.